Welcome back everybody, today we're here to talk about Fear the Walking Dead Season 6B in a brand new trailer. Uh, this is by far the best uh, trailer we have. Um, you know, we have footage of the new characters, the new group. It gives us an idea of what this group might be because they have been teasing the heck out of it. You know, like we've get we've pretty much gotten teases since episode one of uh, season six. So it's been a long time. Now it's returning in about a week. Uh, so when the uh, like uh, the week after, um, you know, this Sunday when the extra six episodes of The Walking Dead is finished, so. You know when that rolls around we'll be continuing what we're doing on sunday nights with the tra with the um breakdowns of uh the trailers for the following episode and then obviously the review of the episode we watch so if that sounds interesting to you if you're a fan of the walking dead be sure to hit the subscribe button because we have a lot of walking Dead content coming up including season 11 in the summer which is awesome so lots of walking Dead stuff coming up um obviously general spoiler warning in case you aren't caught up with fear the walking dead but let's get into the video so yeah we're gonna go through this trailer break it down shot by shot um and yeah so it starts off with this tree and this walker now this is something we have alicia and this other person who we're gonna see in just a second his face but um yeah this is something that the end of the beginning people are doing they are doing these weird things with the walkers um like like remember when they put the i think they put knives on the walkers fingers or something like that they're, they've been doing a bunch of weird things with the walkers and their whole motto is like the end is the beginning you know so i think this kind of symbolizes that you know because you have a walker which is symbolizing the end and then you have trees you know growth in life so i think that is their way of uh symbolizing this and we have this new character uh we don't know his name but he says as teddy says when we win you over it means you're a true believer and Alicia's standing there talking to him and it looks like maybe they actually get to know each other and they're friendly um, and his dialogue is also interesting. Uh, when we win you over, it means you're a true believer. So I think he's saying, or I don't know, but I, I'm maybe Alicia um, likes this group. Maybe Alicia wants to work with this group, or maybe she is tricking them. Who knows? Maybe uh, you know she wants she wants them to help out with the Virginia War. That could be a possibility. But I do think it is a possibility that Alicia does like this group and maybe they do win her over. Who knows? Maybe they're interesting to her. I know they're interesting to me, you know, because we've never really seen a group like this before on The Walking Dead. Uh, so we'll see more of them in a little bit. Uh, next, we have John here. He's on a canoe. Um, he's Remember, he's by himself. Uh, this Bridge of the Walkers, it looks like there's going to be a pretty big set piece here. I think Morgan's going to come help out. I think maybe he's trying to get, get rid of the Walkers. Maybe the Walkers are going to destroy the bridge. Maybe or I think he, maybe he possibly could be wanting to get over it. But right now, he's by himself. Um, and then we see him here. He walks into this, I guess, like a little store on the road. And he says, I don't want no trouble. So it looks like he's going to run into somebody it may be Morgan, you know, that's definitely a possibility because we know Morgan um, is coming after him to ask for him to come back. But then again, this seems a bit more sneaky-like. Uh, so, you know, I think it may be just a brand new character who's on their own also. Because he, I mean, he joined in season four and he's definitely grown uh, to be one of my favorite characters. And I think, you know, I've, I was even saying this like last year um, when season five wasn't that good. I was saying like they have such a great group of characters, just the story isn't that good. And this season really showed that, you know, when the story is good, the show is good. Because like I said, the characters are great. They just need to be in a good story. And this season they are. And then going back to that bridge, like you can see here, he's standing here. I think he's trying to get across the bridge. Uh, we have a scene between uh, Strand and Morgan, and it's pretty uh, tense. You know, like uh, Strand looks pretty upset. He says, I really hope you know what you're doing, Morgan. And Morgan just stands there. So I think he comes here first. I think Morgan, or excuse me, I think uh, Strand comes here first and talks to Morgan about, you know, his plan, because right now he is playing both sides. Um, and, you know, right now he's by himself there. You know, Strand, I think, first comes by himself. And then um, in the trailers, or like in the past promo and trailers, we saw the other rangers uh, come to this location where they're all held up right now. So I, th I think Strand, when he visits here, he's going to go back um, and may tell them where they're 
uh, you know, location is. I don't know how that's going to sit with the group. I feel like, you know, Strand is going to pull like a Eugene this season, you know, with the Saviors. Like, when Eugene, you know, he played both sides, but he really seemed like he was on Negan's side until the very last second. And that's when we were like, oh my goodness, Eugene finally pulled through. You know, I do think it'll be something similar with Strand this season. Next, we go to the lineup and we have Grace here. And Virginia is holding up a walkie-talkie to her. So I think maybe uh, she's trying to get her to talk to Morgan to stand down. And I think Virginia is trying to... Um, you know, uh, scare Morgan in the group by saying, we have some of your people here, stand down. Uh, because Grace says, you won't kill us. And Virginia says, oh, yes, I will. So I think, I don't know if she is going to kill in any of them. You know, the lineup makes it seem like it's possible because they're surrounded by, you know, Rangers. Uh, she has a gun on them. So it's definitely possible. But I think this is more of uh, leverage to get Morgan to stand down. Next, we have what seems to be like maybe the aftermath of a battle or something. We have a bunch of walkers here. Dwight walks around. Um, it looks like he's looking for someone. He could potentially be looking for Sherry. Maybe they got split up. You can see like some tents behind them. And I wouldn't be surprised if the group tries to break into their... Um, you know, base that they have there uh, using walkers. That wouldn't be shocking. You know, I, I think, you know, this is probably like a battle. Next, we have a, a shot of Wes here and you can see like a hand of a walker. Again, that this is that scene where we had um, the end is the beginning people, I think, tying up the walkers or something like that. So again, you know, they're doing these weird things with the walkers and hopefully we get an explanation. I'm sure we will about what, you know, why they're doing that. Um, anyway, so moving on after that, we have Strand here. He's pointing his gun up. This looks to be like, um, you know, in that same place they're doing the lineup. So maybe somebody ambushes the lineup. Maybe Strand does something to help out. Uh, but yeah, he's holding his gun up. Uh, there's smoke. Next, we have a scene of Morgan here. Um, he's upset. He's saying, I told you people will die. Uh, we only see him here, but maybe this is a part of that conversation, I think, with Strand. Uh, Maybe Strand has a different plan in mind, and maybe he wants to hold things off. Uh, maybe more. I think Morgan just wants to fight. I think um, because he realizes. I mean, and he's been in a situation like this with Negan. Like he knows that you know, um, and Dwight too. I'm sure those characters realize that you know they have to deal with this now before things get worse. We have a scene of Daniel here, so this looks to be like the start of the lineup. The trailers are really making us seem like something bad is going to happen to Daniel. Um, but I don't trust the trailers at all because, um, you know, it just seems a little bit too obvious that something's going to happen to Daniel, but we'll see. I mean, it, it is possible, you know, that somebody could end up dying in this lineup. Uh, we have a shot of Dakota here, uh, some walkers surrounding her. Uh, this is a scene of, uh, June. She's underneath a car. Again, this looks to be like, um, some battle, I think. And this might be like in the middle of... The lineup maybe they have some fight um and she's yelling lucy so i think uh you know yelling for luciana maybe she's hurt maybe she's um you know in danger or she's just calling over to her um you know to come over in their direction but i think you know there's going to be some fight happening also in lawton so yeah it looks like this uh second half is going to have some you know action in it uh, we have this guy, remember, his group is also going to be helping out, I think. Maybe they're the group that ambushes Virginia because they were doing that. You know, they're sort of on their own right now. Or they're, um, you know, people who sort of left Virginia's group. Uh, we have a scene of John pointing his gun at some, I think that that may be Strand on the horse, but it's hard to tell. But somebody's getting pulled away. And maybe that's even Morgan getting pulled away because they do spend some time together. And I wouldn't be surprised if... Um, you know, somebody comes and grabs Morgan, uh, and it kind of looks like he's firing it too. So we'll see what happens there. I think either John comes back to the group and this is where it's happening, or either the Rangers are just really good at finding people, uh, because it looks like it's just this one guy and he followed them or something like that. Uh, and then we have this scene, which is really, um, you know, the highlight. This is like something that I've been looking forward to. Um, you know, to see what exactly is going on in this scene. It's between that new character and Alicia. Alicia pulls a knife on the guy. Um, and this is probably like the first time they meet or something like that. And I think this guy is connected with that group. The end is the beginning. And maybe this is even is Teddy. The guy in the beginning said, uh, Teddy says when we win you over, it means you're a true believer. Maybe this guy is Teddy. Uh, maybe Teddy's like a leader and this guy seems like he would be a leader. 
um, you know, of the group. Um, and yeah, so uh, Alicia points a knife at him and he says, if one lives by the sword, well, you know how the rest of it goes. So I think he's saying that, you know, that um, quote, if one lives by the sword, one dies by the sword. Um, so I think this is the first time they're meeting. Alicia pulls a knife on him. And I think they may even try to recruit Alicia because remember in one of those older trailers, this guy was talking to Alicia and said, I've been looking for someone like you for a very long time. And then earlier in the trailer, the guy was talking to Alicia about, uh, you know, being a true believer. So maybe they try to recruit Alicia and maybe Alicia goes for it. Um, you know, maybe she wants, uh, you know, a fresh start. I mean, I don't know what their deal is, you know, because... They're definitely secretive, but we'll see. But, you know, they are a very, very interesting group. I'm excited to see uh, what's going on with them. But also very excited to see what's going on with Virginia and to see this Virginia battle. But, yeah, that was the trailer we got. Um, you know, very packed. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about the trailer. Let me know what do you think is going to happen in the second half. What do you want to happen? And what do you think about this new group? Uh, but as far as this video goes, I am going to wrap it up there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. And for more Walking Dead videos like this, be sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Please take care and I'll see you guys soon.